Why are you moving your finger around and screaming in my ear? Because it's... What's the guy? The comedian. The guy talks like this! Louis Black? Yeah! He's always going like this with his little fingers moving around! He says this. Oh, and the guy he goes like this! Anyway, you're not him, so that doesn't explain anything. What are we making? Oh! We're the making LA the, water. The LA water, this recipe submitted by Larry. Larry said that this is all the big rage on the other coast. Wow, well, the one that doesn't matter. Probably in LA. Yeah, a couple years now. I have no idea, I've never heard of it. It looks to me to be a Long Island iced tea. Mm, kinda sorta. Half ounce vodka, half ounce gin, half ounce rum, half ounce tequila. That's four of the five whites. Which white are we missing? There's triple sec in that other one. Um, bum, bum, bum. What's that other white liquid that we don't have here? Vodka? No, we have vodka. I don't even know what it is. But there's five whites. Mm. So what's the deal? I don't remember what the other one is. You guys remember. I don't know. Um, so maybe white rum? No, white something. White rum. We're going to add to that what would typically be more of that Long Island-like taste. Blue curacao. Electric lemonade kind of follows the same pattern. That splash of sour mix, also Long Islandy, and oh, raspberry liqueur. Raspberry liqueur. Not so islandy anymore. And we're gonna need it. We're just putting this in a wide old fashioned glass. I used all my brands. The ones you like. Well, I just picked some vodka, and then I said, "Ooh, pink pigeon rum." I really like that pink pigeon. We haven't used pink pigeon in a while. And I like. What am I doing? You're gonna have to take those ingredients on your side and put them into that glass. I can't measure, you know that I can't. It's a half ounce. It's this. <laughs> I just. Uh, it's that little guy right there. I turned it so it was all set up. Why you go away? Smacking me. So that you would go away. Vodka. You're gonna build it right in your glass because that's oh, what they are? say. Yeah. Oh, yeah, building rocks. So we're using St. Petersburg. Why is this so, so large? Did I get a second one of these? I thought I was almost out. Um, maybe it did. You supposed to go over the little nub? Over the nub. It doesn't matter. Mmm, that smells awesome. New Amsterdam gin. This is the one Jennifer picked out because she likes, if she's yeah. going to drink her gin, she's going to drink it with New Amsterdam. Yeah. If I'm going to drink tequila, I'm going to drink Hornitos. Hornitos. And if you're going to drink rum, you're going to drink all of them. Yeah. At once, in your grill. <laughs> rum, I don't discriminate. Nope. Pink Pigeon is... But I really like Pink Pigeon. It's got a little bit of a vanilla note to it. This is really a Madag good. I think it's a Madagascarian. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's a word. No. Yeah, nearby Madagascar. Oh, are you kidding me? Unequal, we add... Oh, is that the one we had that huge discussion on? vanilla from orchids oh, that no. grow in the rainforest canopy of nearby Madagascar. I can't open that. Combined with the exotic tropical flavors of spice and nutmeg make this rum exquisitely rare. What do you think I was going to punch you? Yes. you think it's got carbonation? No, I think you're gonna punch me. Uh, Price Simports? Oh, they're the ones who do, uh, I think, Luxardo Maraschino liqueur. Then we're gonna that add smells our. Smells really good too. Splashy, splashy, splash! Ew. Is that what LA water looks like, the Boston Harbor? <laughs> so, what makes it any different than just being anywhere? Nasty. <laughs> That's my splash. Uh, well. At least it has blue in it. I don't you make it sound like, oh, blue. it's nasty, like the city closest to us, too. <laughs> Give that a shot. Yeah, but didn't they dump, cube? like, tea in ours? <laughs> yeah, they did. The Boston <laughs> Tea it. Party. They didn't dump it in um, L.A.'s. <laughs> right. That was, like, <laughs> I, know. I don't know, 200 years ago. Yeah, and it's still the color of tea. Then it would smell like Earl Grey or something, not like... The harbor. Earl Grey in there. Oh, that, that does kind of look like what you think of a harbor water would yes. look like. As long as it doesn't smell like the harbor, like Brugal rum. <laughs> no. Ooh, we could have used that. No. That would have worked in there. It smells like... Teen spirit. Oh! Why does it have floaties? I don't know. It's floating in there. Uh, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Dump this on me. Just smell it. I smell sour mix and raspberry. Yep, raspberry. What? Well, I guess it's appropriate that we have floaties fine. in the harbor. <laughs> no, it's um, LA water. It's not the harbor. Oh, I got it. I got it. It looks like a gold fleck from Goldschlager. Oh, you know what that is? No, nope. it's cork. Oh. Uh, from one of the corks. I'm gonna try it first. Ah, fine. You'll get the cork. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. It's right there. Mm. Or it's a bug. I just said. <laughs> I, no, there's two of them in there. 
I took one of the corks out. I don't want to drink it. It's just not going to kill you. Ooh. You got that too? That is super sweet. Really? Is that what that is? Mm hmm. Really? Mm hmm. <laughs> My cork disappeared again. Oh, there it is. Sweet? Sweet. I did sweet. Really? Yes. <laughs> Raspberry all up in your face. Dude, this is so thick. <laughs> you really sweet. There it goes. I was thinking lots of alcohol. Like it's got almost like a rubbing it's alcohol. It's got an alcohol finish. kick at the end. Yeah. It's like sour and vodka? raspberry again. Yes. Um citrus. Oh, you get sour the mix. curacao. <laughs> yep. You get the sour mix curacao play. Right. So you get that it's citrus. Raspberry. It's it feels like thick. It's very raspberry. Yes. But it feels thick. 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 It, I mean look, it does. You can it's even like a see. syrup. It's it's slowly seeping like waterfall off it's this is like this is like the the that big waterfall. No Niagara? I, I was thinking Hoover Dam, like the little waterfalls. <laughs> Um, so big. But look at it. It's like all rolling off the, the top of this. It's good. I like it. Oh, yeah. But do? it's strong. Strong. You have to like raspberry. If you don't like raspberry, this would not be the drink for you. This is definitely, definitely I, raspberry tart, sweet. It's got all the. The only thing it's missing is umami. Okay. And savory out of the different flavors that you can get. I don't think I could drink. Oh. I could drink that, but I don't think I could. I would ever order another one. That is. I was gonna say I don't know if I would have more than one. It's like just. It's like. But I bet the more you drink them, the easier they get. It just drink. feels like like little things ripping apart my like little undead like tearing apart all my taste buds. Like it's it's muting them and ripping them into pieces at the it's same time. Raspberry sour, sweet bite, raspberry. Citrus. Sour. Citrus. Alcohol. No, sour no. raspberry with a. Kick. You don't get any real, any I'm defining. Gin. No, no gin, no rum. No rum, and I use um, a good rum. No vodka. So you can probably use a bad rum. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I mean, think if you made them too bad, it would become too apparent because that. Well, you'd alcohol, probably get more of the alcohol kick that, at the end. That alcohol tart bite will end up Being ramping worse. up and one, two punch in the face. Not good. No, but um, I like pink pigeons for its flavor. Yeah, which this doesn't get, get lost in there. Yeah, this is great. On the rocks. I don't know if this is where the cork's coming from. Yeah, it smells like vanilla. Mm. It could be bringing some of that sweetness around too. Yeah. It's still pretty strong. Yeah, I, that's a strong rum too. Forty percent with like a flavory note. That's insane. Um, question of the day: What is your favorite tequila recipe? There's a question of the day. Question of the day: What's your favorite tequila recipe? Second question of the day: Pink Cadillac. Where's the old gray? from? Ha ha, joking. Not a question. Well, pink Cadillac. That's my favorite tequila yes. recipe. How much snow did you shovel for the nor'easter? That's not really a question of the day. I guess it is kind of a question. Of the day. If you could choose between world peace and Bill Gates's money, what color would your Lamborghini be? <laughs> red. I would want... Fire no. engine red, baby. I would want bright orange, like my my orange shaker. shaker. Yeah. Orange is a nice color. Because people, you have Lamborghini that pulls up and it's red. Everyone's like, yeah, it's Lamborghini. Salmon. Pink? This no, is salmon is a pinky, orangey color. <laughs> if you're rolling no, around in one of these. That would be these, awesome. I would, I would love to do that just to be like, because nobody. No one else is ever going to have a car, right. pink car like that. Come but on. considering Lamborghinis are made custom design and they'll right. make any color you want, you could just hand them this shaker and get, go. And say, get to it. <laughs> make this. And they'll be like, okay, that'll be $570,000. Whatever. No problem. I so, won Powerball. <laughs> I guess world peace wasn't actually an option. It was just there to extend the sentence. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think his his or her assumption is that you're not going to choose world peace. It's it's a foregone conclusion. There will never be world peace. So might as well get your Lamborghini. Right. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you're in an area that's peaceful that you could drive it in and has lots of not you broken could, you up roads. If you go fast enough, you'll drive away from the war-torn cities. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I feel like if you were in the desert, 
Unless you're in Walking Dead and you have the walkers coming after you. No, you'd be fine. Only until your gas runs out. True, and that would only be about two miles. Yeah. <laughs> the Lamborghini. So, you wouldn't be fine. So there was a whole crap load of questions today, but I want to focus for a second on the one you suggested, which is the pink Cadillac, because it was a tequila-based recipe. I, on the other hand, don't know of a good tequila-based recipe that I would choose from, because I don't remember if the Three Mile Long Island has a Yeah, has it's good. I was thinking if that had it, but that would be that, but I don't know. That is it. so much like this, and, and like it's spread across so many alcohols. I just feel like you so need that something that's very be my other one if there is tequila in there. Very much more focused tequila. Yeah, but see, you like tequila. I, I don't. Right for that. So, <laughs> for that, I would go with. There's only a couple of recipes that I would drink with tequila. I would go with the margarita, common man margarita, as my tequila recipe of choice. You could just Google the common man margarita, or go to YouTube or my channel. And for so those that want to know, submit your recipes at recipe at everydaydrinker.com. Remember that. And then the second problem, people like to say, you know, I want to. Uh, where did I put that recipe book? I want to. I want to um, find out what I can make with rum and gin and vodka combined. There's a search option. So if you go to YouTube.com/slash Everyday Drinker, if you look down, there'll be a little. What do you call those things? Magnifying glasses. And if you click on it, it opens up a box, and you could type in key ingredients. I tag all my ingredients. So this this one will buy, will be tagged with all the ingredients. I may not go brand specific. Sometimes I do if it's like the stink, like Pink Pigeon. But and I remember. But just remember, you can always search the channel. Yeah, usually, if only like the last recipe we did yesterday was a cool swan recipe, so mm -hmm. that would have cool swan. Right, in right, it. right. <laughs> but if you send me a message on Facebook, Twitter, or or email, and you ask me what recipes do you have that have rum and tequila, I will do a search and take the URL, copy and paste it to you, and then tell you how you could do a search. And if it's email, I'll even paste a screenshot so you can do it on your own. Or I'll just go to let me Google that for you. Right. That's basically what I'm saying. Uh, and here's the recipe book that we had, I was talking about yesterday from Cool Swan, that has, check this out folks, so Cool first Swan's page. recipe, first page, Cool Swan Alexander, featured on Common Man Cocktails. Yeah. That's right. And that was submitted by Drink with Dragons, uh, Rourke, Rourke over, over uh, on YouTube, submitted that years ago, I think. Um, cool Irish Comfort, that was the other one, right? Woodman. Woodman 717 submitted that one. And then I just got this the recipe. Irish snowman was the one we did. Yeah, with the Irish snowman, which the recipe was right, so it is way too strong. Um, and then or this one, somebody read this book. Way too weak. It, or read this and submitted it to me. It's called the <laughs> the Cool Irish Islander. I actually got a recipe submission for the Cool Irish Islander, which I designed and, and created, which is the first time anybody's ever submitted a recipe to me from a book or someplace else that, that was actually <laughs> created by me. Um, and the best we, part. We did it on our show, though, too, right? Yeah, that, we, I did it, but it to yeah, I gave it to him while I was creating the show, so yeah. I get cross marketing. The best part is the method says shake all ingredients or ice, strain into a frosted martini glass, and serve. That's not a martini glass, guys. That's a parfait glass or 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 weird hurricane glass. But yeah. that's that's not that's no. You guys, you got to look the at picture your picture. Still looks your cool. art and your your text. They know matchy, so just just let you know if you guys see that because there's also a drink in there that's shaken and it shows a blended drink. Yes. So <laughs> which does look mighty good. Mighty, <laughs> mighty, good. mighty good. I haven't heard that forever. Um, there you go, anyway. pink shakers. Go buy it. Look at the link that's probably floating above me. It says up about pink, uh, pink boss shaker. You can click on it. Go sauce and drinks. Pink Lamborghinis. Bing, bing, bing. Click on it and go buy one. Buy one of these, and if you can afford two of these, go buy yourself a Lamborghini and then send <laughs> <Really>? me one. <laughs> Yeah. If you can afford two shakers, go buy a Lamborghini. Yeah. All right. Just yeah, making sure. If you're going to splurge. Okay. Yeah. Everydaydrinkers.com. Teach you how to drink.